guys, I'm Natalia and we are with Mom's Dish. Today I have Tim here to help me out a little bit. Yeah, I'm excited about it. I see some clues. Pepper, I'm assuming it's a Mexican dish? Yes, we're going to be doing guacamole recipe. I noticed you have me here for dips, but uh, <laughs> I don't mind them, it looks good. Anything has to do with avocado and dips, I'm going to get Tim involved, that way he can make them in the future for us. Sounds good to me. So, for ingredients, we need four avocados. Mine are like, I don't know what happened here. But four large avocados are perfect for this recipe. We have large tomato. Oops, lime is running away. <laughs> They're gonna get squeezed for some lime juice. Right. So we're gonna use lime juice out of these. Okay. We have three jalapeno peppers, and that can be a little spicy. Yes, isn't that a little too spicy? Well, it depends if they're going to be really, really spicy. Sometimes jalapeno peppers are not so spicy, That's true. so we'll see. That's true. We'll plan this on the jalapeno pepper part. You can also use canned jalapeno peppers. They work amazing in this recipe, so either one would work. Oh, that works. And then we'll use about a third of this cilantro. Right. This recipe is what got me to love cilantro. So it's a life-changing thing. That's for sure. Those are some high expectations. <laughs> um, and then we have a salt. And that's all. Well, I'm excited about it. It looks very green, very fresh, and I uh, can't wait to do it. Yep. Let's get going. You're going to cut this up. Right. Actually, I need to grab a spoon. I'll grab a spoon. Okay, go ahead. Not like that. <laughs> okay, so you cut it in Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Half. So okay. give me half, and I'm going to scoop it out. All right, there you go. just mesh it up. Yep, mesh it up into like small chunks, almost like mashed potatoes, but not quite there. You want a little bit of avocado left in there. You're all set. Are you sure? Yep. Yes, chunks. It's good, chunks are good. I'm gonna cut this into halves and I'll have you squeeze it out since you said you're really good. Let's squeeze it. Wow, that knife is really sharp. There you go, squeeze put, it out. Uh, okay, line. if you put it down. Dude, are you making awesome. fun of me? It has to go upside down. Like this? Oh. <laughs> hold on, okay, maybe I you're didn't right. Know that. No, 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 hold on. Maybe I you're am right. right. I am right. Okay, it's splashing at us. I don't know. Like, it's literally splattering me. I don't think this is the right way. So, Tim put it up like this. It looks right. It I looks put right. it in like this. Squeeze it out. Let's see which one gets more juice. This feels so out. wrong on so many levels. Okay. I like this because it doesn't spray at you, which is so weird. I never get that you put it upside down. This actually looks so much better. I do pick your way. Okay. Okay, do it again. Okay, you guys, down. let us know how you squeeze a lime. Do you squeeze it like this or like Tim's way? We're gonna put this to the side and we're gonna chop up some tomatoes. Okay, sounds good. Do you wanna do it? Or uh, sure, you I'll You know chop what, let me do it. <laughs> you wanna do it? Yeah, I can do it. It has to be trust? really, really small, like I really tiny it. cubes. So. Use this knife. Oh, isn't that the meat knife? No. Oh, care. <laughs> <laughs> now you gotta cut my fingers out. All right, so it, use a knife. meat knife. It's right, not so a what are we doing? Knife. So I'm using, chef's knife. So I'm cutting this into a half. Okay, yeah, okay. it's smooth. Very smooth. How about you and me we both cut? What I do is I slice it diagonally like this. I hold it. Now hold it on top because you want it to not fall apart. Oh, gotcha. And do it smaller if you can. Mm. Okay, you're still not holding it. Hold it on top. Like this way? Yes. My whole life I grew up cutting it this way. I haven't cut anything, but... Um, yeah, I'm cutting <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, now you make a huge mess. Oh, okay, okay, and then sideways. But I don't think it's a good idea for both of us to be cutting right now. <laughs> You could do a lot of trick. Are you? Yo, it felt Tim is snatching tomatoes for later. <laughs> you can't waste any tomatoes. The next step, we're cutting skinny bell peppers. They're not bell peppers. They we are just called. Know what they are. They are called. Jalapeno peppers. Jalapeno peppers. So here's the thing. You're gonna cut them up, yes. but after this, you cannot touch your eye, your nose, your mouth, nothing, because it's gonna Good. burn so badly. Good. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. So, Did you hear what I said? I heard you say, as long as you don't make me cry, I'll be okay. Okay, so let's cut it off the edge. Uh, the tail? The tail, yeah. Ah, help. Okay. <laughs> cut 
cut it like this. Uh, horizontal? Yes. yes. Gotcha. And then we're going to remove all the seeds from it. So here's how I do it. You don't want the seeds in there because it's just an extra texture, extra spiciness. Gotcha. There you go. So, cool. and now we're going to slice it up into thin strips. Okay. And we'll cut it up into little cubes just like we did with tomatoes. Oh, gotcha. I can do that. No. Oh, into thin strips. Oh. So, hold on. This if way. you put it upside down, tell me why. Up? It's going to be easier to slice it. Chop it into the tiniest pieces you can. Oh, really? Because every bite you want smaller. Try to go as small as possible. Smaller. Smaller. smaller, smaller, smaller. And I love how you're holding your fingers. No. Yeah. Are you serious? You're holding them like this. You're not going to cut yourself. Promise there's something in my eye. That's when you really have something in your eye. That's how it is all the time. So we'll toss this in here. We washed our hands really well with soap. Both sides. But still don't touch your like face or... Anything. I'll touch yours. <laughs> no, not Bite. today, sorry. Let's do this. You're gonna chop up about a third of the cilantro. Cut this off, we won't need that. Okay. Gotcha. And set it aside. Okay, and now we're gonna cut this in half and then combine it like this and then you can fold it together. Just chop it up into tiny little pieces. Like, gotcha, gotcha. You don't want like a big leaf. That's not a tiny piece. I'll start. <laughs> <laughs> if you have anger issues, amazing. Just do a guacamole. Why do you cook so often? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's scoop this in here. Okay. And we will be all done. What do we do with that cilantro? Just there to garnish. Gotcha. For fittingness. <laughs> I said garnish. <laughs> That's awesome. We have all the ingredients in here. We just need to season it. Okay. Why don't you stop? Keep going. I need to season it generously. Is there salt in there? I don't know. Oh, well, there is. It sounds like it's not. Oh, I'm out. going the wrong way. <laughs> Guys, instructions 101 spin the right way. Keep going. Oh, you're serious? Yeah. You know I like salt. You do. But just see that the taste. We'll probably do it one my teaspoon. My taste says it's good. <laughs> okay, set it aside. Let's combine this together. I'm actually so hungry right now, so I am really looking forward to this. We're gonna get some chips. So we'll show you our favorite chips to go with this, and we'll be done. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you a pure <laughs> talent. Okay, from someone who has never made guacamole before. Nav, you're a real chef. I am a real chef, I'll take that. We're ready for Cinco de Mayo or like any other barbecue. Yeah. What's the next step? Let's taste test. You go Can first. You do that? All right. You wanna grab a chip first? I'll grab it first, but I'll let you go first. <laughs> a good dip of guacamole. Let's do this. It's running away. I love it. Mm. I'm hiding because guys, so much expression, so much feeling <laughs> in every bite. No, but seriously, it feels like you're bringing the whole garden into your mouth. The whole garden? The entire garden, all the vegetables, all the crop, <laughs> bring it in here. Actually, it feels really, doesn't it feel fresh? Yes, the lime juice gives it so much freshness, doesn't it? Yeah, that's amazing. Um, I love it. Um, We're gonna go enjoy this. Yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank I you. loved having Tim around. Let us know what you think about Tim being on board here on videos. Yeah. Also, let us know what you think on squeezing that or using that lime, lime squeezer, which way you put that lime in it. Um, we'd like to know and also what you think about that guacamole. Okay, subscribe, comment, and let us know. Bye-bye. See ya.